the House Judiciary Committee released a lengthy document and it is accusing the federal government of literally partnering with various universities to censor Americans' political speech. Now, part of this report, which is very disturbing, reads, it was created in the summer of 2020 with the Election Integrity Partnership, a way, they say, for the federal government to basically launder censorship activities in hopes of bypassing the First Amendment and public scrutiny. Now, not surprisingly, we've now learned this was specifically designed to target conservatives and their viewpoints, and there are others who are actively known for doing that, even taking uh, State Department funding uh, as well. So when you add this all up, now that we know this, the damage has been done, but how do we prevent it from ever happening again? Well, I think that we need to set an example on the federal level. We need to identify individuals who have w used their office to weaponize it against free speech, to weaponize it against people who express religious liberty. We need to set an example, and we need to use the Holman Rule and eliminate some of these bad actors from the federal uh, appropriations. Until you start, um, until you start eliminating people's jobs, they are going to continue to do it. I know some of my colleagues want to defund the FBI headquarters, and I'm all for that. But at the end of the day, nothing will stop the politicalization of these positions like eliminating and setting some examples and eliminating some people.